Run a live stream from your Nintendo Switch? Let me show you how. Getting started live streaming from your Nintendo Switch is actually very easy, but first, you're gonna need a few things. Number one, and most obvious, you're gonna need a Nintendo Switch. Second, you're gonna need a way to capture and record audio. The best way to do this is with a capture card, and you can get a decent one for under $100. But remember, you don't need to spend a ton of money to get started, and you can always upgrade later. You'll also need an HDMI cable to connect your Switch to your capture card. In case you're interested, I'll leave the video for the capture card that I'm using right up here, and it'll also be linked at the end of this video and down in the description box below. Third, you're going to need a way to convert your video capture into something that can be streamed over an internet connection. For this, a variety of options are available. If you're just getting started, you can go download OBS Studio for free. It's the most basic of the live streaming services that you can use, and it's available on Windows, Mac, and Linux. Last but not least, you're going to need to decide what platform you want to stream on. Now, Twitch is obviously the most popular, but YouTube and Facebook are also viable options. Pick the platform that you feel is going to best benefit you based on your long-term goals. Now, let's talk about stream keys. A stream key is a unique code that will allow you to be able to live stream from a third-party software. In order to find it, you're going to want to log into the dashboard of whatever platform you're using. So for example, if you're on Twitch, you want to go to your creator dashboard, go down to stream under settings, and then your stream key is going to be right here. You're going to click copy and you're going to paste that into your third party software. If you're on YouTube, you're going to go to creator studio. You're going to start a new live stream. When you go into set one up, your stream key is going to be down here under stream settings. If you're going live from Facebook, you want to go to facebook.com slash producer and under create a new live video, you're going to find your stream key under stream setup. It's going to be right here. So once you open up OBS Studio, go into settings and under stream, you're going to select the service that you want to live stream to. We have Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, and then a couple of others, whatever your choice is. So from here, you're going to want to do use stream key. You're going to click there and you're going to paste your stream key right in this box here. That's going to connect you to the live streaming service that you're going to be streaming your video to. Just know that you can only use one stream key at a time, whether it's Twitch, YouTube, or Facebook, unless your live streaming software has the capability to multi-stream, which means you can stream to more than one platform at a time. If you want to learn how to set up your capture card with OBS Studio, then check out the video that I have linked right at the end of this video. If this video helped you at all, why not let me know about it in the comments below? And also, let me know which platform you picked. Twitch, Facebook, or YouTube to start your live stream. If you want to support this channel, feel free to go in and hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you can know when I post more videos. I do everything from Let's Plays, Switch Tips, Product Reviews, and all things Nintendo. Thank you so much for watching this video. You can follow me on social media. These are my handles right here. If you want to watch another video, I've got some right over here. And I'll see you in the next one.